Hello beautiful Capricorns, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. The machine, time machine, Capricorn, in your life, are you going forward into the future or backwards into the past? Birds of a feather, so you are very attracted to someone who is like yourself right now and beyond the ordinary, ooh, that's a, an amazing look at the heart space. The, the heart chakra is just lit up, Capricorn. So the overall energy of the reading for you in the tarot deck is Page of Cups. Coming together, having a crush on one another, you know, letting love unfold and mature the way it should. In the recent past, the two of you have really shown a lot of fire in your belly, Leo energy, a lot of strength. The infinity symbol can indicate that you've known this person through multiple lifetimes. We see this beautiful energy of having the courage, the heart, the strength, the desire to make this relationship work. The Three of Cups, beautiful Cancerian energy. This is a bridesmaid's dancing you know, together at a wedding, it's your best friends, it's falling in love with your best friend, knowing that there's great potential for this relationship to be long term. Your person views the situation as being very uncomfortable. The way they're seeing things is being very unsettled. The, your person looks as though they might have a difficulty right now trusting something new. So this is Pisces energy. Your person feels a bit sort of underwater, like a little bit nervous, a little bit fearful, the smoky trail. They don't really know what's going to happen. So there is a discomfort level there. They view you as a queen of swords, Libra energy, somebody who's very fair, very um, logical, very much a person who locks your heart in a cage and you make decisions based on mind over matter. It speaks to the fact that your person does not think that you're just some, you know, sweet, ideal person who follows their heart. No, they feel as though you make your love choices very carefully. Your person in their heart space has an obsession with you. Capricorn, who wouldn't love a Capricorn, right? Who couldn't be obsessed with Capricorn? So we see this energy of the devil card and it, it looks like your person, because they feel very insecure, because they feel fearful, it looks as though they could be a little bit controlling or a little bit maybe even manipulative to try to feel safe in this relationship. I don't see it as um, really a dark energy. I just feel as though, you know, your person may have a tendency to need to feel a sense of mastery over the situation. We have the magician card. How do they see this unfolding? They feel as though both of you have all the tools together. There's magic. There's chemistry between the two of you. The possibilities are endless between the two of you, Capricorn. Temperance card could indicate that this is a reconciliation. For some of you, this will be going back in time and maybe, you know, coming or running into a person that you once dated. This is a very, um, it's a very soft energy of balance, kindness, sweetness, a guardian angel, Archangel Raphael is protecting your relationship. But both of you want this to work very much. Spirit is saying, Capricorn, this is your person. Capricorn, Capricorn, Spirit is saying that the Empress energy is bringing Venus, the planet of love, light, beauty, sensuality, everything that you would want in life. This person embodies those uh, qualities beyond the ordinary is exactly what spirit is telling you about your person. Your outcome card is the queen of cups, loving each other very deeply, you know, not always being a little bit more emotional, I think Capricorn than you are typically, but your person is very emotional. So we see that, but both of you are emotional when you are together and both of you very much look at the world in the same way with that birds of feather card. Let's see what the clarifiers are. Now, after I clarify this reading, I'm going to add a surprise 
and it is going to be the 10 things or the nine or 10 things that your person likes about you best Capricorn. What do they really admire about you? You know, what are the thoughts that come to their head if they were trying to describe you to other people? All right, so we have Page of Cups. Very much the, the smelly fish in the cup, the innocent, naive, young, love. Okay, so the Hermit card. Both of you appear to have been alone for a while, so you're both being very cautious. You know, you're just taking it a day at a time. Um, you're very self-reflective at this time about what you want in love. We see both of you searching for answers. And the Three of Pentacles, you may have met this person at work, you may have collaborated with them on a project, but it really speaks to the fact that birds of a feather can create anything beyond the ordinary. So why do we have the Strength card? Tell us something about the Strength card. What gives Capricorn and their person so much fire in their belly? Oh, look at that, the romance, the sweetness. Look at that, beautiful, the very handsome. Knight of Cups coming in. There's something intensely romantic about your connection. So that is something that's very special. Princess of Wands, throwing caution to the winds. Feeling free, feeling easy, feeling like life is breezy with one another. Princess of Pentacles, again, the very beautiful energy of, hey, you know, let's go for a walk. Let's walk the dog. Let's go buy groceries. Really enjoying each other, like with everyday kinds of mundane activities, taking pleasure. Look at the star card. The star card literally is hopes and dreams for love are fulfilled, that your connection is passionate, it's intellectual, it's, it's very communicative, it's heartfelt, it's practical. It is an energy that has healed both your hearts from old wounds. The star card energy is telling me that you have a beautiful spiritual, emotional connection that can go the distance. It can last through eternity. And we saw that strength card with that infinity symbol. Why is your person so nervous? Why are they feeling so worried and sort of underwater? Oh, they've already chosen you. Ooh, the sun card. They think you're the best thing since sliced bread, canned beer, whatever you can think about. Your person has chosen you, Capricorn. That three of wands energy is Aries energy. They just, they have no doubt in their minds that you're the person for them. How they view you is immensely loving. They see you as that six of cups energy, very nostalgic, sweet, your reunion energy. You either remind them of somebody from the past or you are somebody from their past. So it speaks to the fact that that is a soulmate energy. Aw, oh, the devil card, the three of swords. Okay, so for some of you, this is very clearly a relationship in which there's been a breakup and a makeup because we've had the temperance card twice now and we now see that your person is underwater because they they feel very nervous, you know, you are their person. But the Six of Cups is a reunion card. The Three of Swords is telling me why in their heart space they feel the need to be in control. And it is because there was heartbreak in this relationship at one time for your person. Why was there heartbreak in this relationship for your person? Why is it that this energy is here? We see the Magician card, okay, and the Knight of Wands. All right, so the energy that I'm seeing here is that at an earlier time, you may have dated, and I, this is a story that's coming through for me, is that there was a, you had a very magical attraction. Your person in times past chose you, but you didn't choose them. They're fearful because the Knight of Wands energy is here. You both thought you were manifesting a relationship or they thought they were manifesting a relationship with you that would lead to commitment and it didn't turn out that way. So now in this period of time, since, you know, whatever time in the time machine that we keep seeing here, uh, your person now feels as though you have a reboot of a beautiful love that they've always wanted. And they're hoping that you choose them, but they're not quite certain that you have yet. 
So we have the Eight of Swords. Your person is, you know, they have you two have all the tools that you need, but your person is not going to take action. They're going, they have very much of a wait and see attitude. The Empress, beautiful energy. They feel as though you embody the Empress energy. They feel as though they're bringing Empress energy. You know, with the star card, we see, all that, see that the two of you have healed. So your person is coming really beautifully into this relationship with Empress energy to give their best. We have the Eight of Wands. Moving forward very rapidly is what's going on behind the scenes. We see that Sagittarius energy, excitement, passion. Keep a fire extinguisher by the bed. The Lover's card. Oh, isn't that exquisite energy? So we do see the two of you choosing each other. You know, that Lover's card is Gemini energy. Spirit is recommending that the two of you have great strength. You have fire in your belly. You have already manifested a beautiful reconciliation. You know, a time in your life when you really are going to go and step beyond the ordinary with this love relationship. Why do we have the Queen of Cups here? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Both of you are single, ready to mingle, highly desirable. You both certainly fit one another's image and desire in terms of a list, a checklist, if there ever were one. You both fit one another's desire uh, of what you want in a long-term committed relationship. The World card, the two of you going the distance, leveling up, going to the next step considering uh, marriage, considering long-term uh, relationship with a big commitment. We have the two of you at that beautiful crossroads ready to make a final decision. Your person, though, has already decided that you're the one for them, and it looks as though, Capricorn, you decide that they're the one for you. All right, so now let's look at the favorite aspects what your person loves about you most, Capricorn. What does your person love about you most? Okay, let's see what we have here. We have your person loves the fact that you are very patient, that you're willing to build one brick at a time for the future, that you don't get ahead of yourself. Again, very grounded energy. They also see you as someone who from whom they've learned a lot about life. They feel as though you've taught them a lot of lessons. There was something about the breakup in the past and the fact that you're together again that reignites their feelings of love and trust in the world. They feel as though there was a good reason something had to happen in the relationship to improve it. And they appreciate that you stood by your values and required the best of them. The Ten of Swords energy has now appeared twice. They There was a time when they thought that you were just really betraying them. And now with that Ten of Swords, the Ten of Swords energy that is coming forward now is the wisdom and the understanding of what you were trying to convey in terms of what's needed to build something extraordinary. So the Six of Cups energy around this beautiful reading is so sweet. They love, oh, they see you as a wise one, which makes perfect sense. They felt as though before you weren't wise, you were just making a decision that hurt them, and now they see the wisdom. They see the wisdom of who you are, they love that about you. Six of Wands, they love the fact that you are victorious in life, that you've made them a central part of your life, that you've introduced them to your friends. They see you as winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> so let's see what else we have here for what your person loves about you. Two of Cups, well, they love the fact that you love them. Uh, they love the fact that you, the two of you are soulmates, that you have a very close bond, and that you share a lot of emotions. And the Three of Cups energy is telling us that they feel like they're in love with their soulmate and best friend. The Empress energy is how they also see you. And we've seen the Empress three times now in this reading. So we really see your person loving the fact that you are the embodiment of love in their viewpoint. So let's see what else we have here for what they love about you. 
they see you as very discreet, very wise, very intelligent, the high priestess energy, somebody that can keep to themselves and someone who is very elegant in the way you present yourself and somewhat mysterious as well as psychic. The awakening. So what they also love about you is that you do not hold grudges, that you release everything. When you solve a problem, you have the confidence, Capricorn, to let go and to understand that to build on a relationship, you have to let go of old fights, old grudges, old difficulties, whatever it is that held you back previously. You are having a stellar time in your life right now. Uh, I wish you the best. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me what you think of this particular spread. Um, if you like it, I will include it in future readings. Thanks so much. Sending you love. Bye-bye.